Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the M1 and M2 buttons on the steering wheel uh, with something of a different color and in my case I'm going with these blue buttons. Now replacing these buttons is actually pretty straightforward. It's not as involved as replacing the steering wheel. I actually had a video on that that I've done I think a year and a half ago. You can uh, click on it right above but essentially what you have to do is you have to pop the airbag off, uh, unscrew some uh, some things and I will show you everything what to do and, uh, and, and that's really it. But before you even and touch the steering wheel first thing you do you is you disconnect the battery set it aside and put something on the uh, trunk latch so the trunk doesn't close on you and once that's done you are ready to go now what you have to do uh, first is and it's it's better to not grab a screwdriver but something sort of round so I'm using these sort of uh, uh, Torx screwdriver thingies and uh, what you do is you have to pop the steering wheel uh, and the, in the back of the steering wheel you have some holes now don't confuse the holes behind the buttons you have to access the holes sort of at 440 if you will so there will be a hole there and what you have to do is you have to kind of angle the screwdriver until you feel the spring and if you feel the spring you push it and the airbag would pop out you see how it popped out again same thing on this side you don't confuse the holes again again push the screwdriver in wait until you feel the spring and see if you can pop it out and the airbag simply pops out beautiful and to remove the airbag it's again simple clip you pull it and the airbag is removed you now set it in a safe place all right i know you're all curious creatures uh, this is what it looks like so first what we have to do is we have to remove this trim in order for us to access this uh, panel and to remove this trim you grab a t20 torx so we will grab this guy t20 and you simply just unscrew this one take out the screw and two there's a cable in the way don't worry about it two and now you might be inclined to pull it out don't be because in the back of the steering wheel right there there's another one that you have to undo okay now that everything's out we can start pulling it out and it just comes right out now if you are curious whether or not you can remove these switches just by undoing the screw in the back and there is a screw in the back you cannot because as you can see this trim is blocking it quite a lot so if you're wondering want to know more because you are unable to do that so now continuing with the t20 theme you want to get yourself some access so you turn the wheel just a little bit and access the screw from the back and unscrew this switch panel the screw out again put it in a safe place after the switch panel comes out, you flip it upside down and that reveals three screws. You want to get them undone. Okay, and once the screws come off, the whole front panel just falls out on your knees. This is what it looks like on the flip side. And now, uh, you could do it in the car or you could do it on your bench. But since we are sitting in the car and we're going to make this exercise very easy, uh, we're going to do it in the car. These are the two buttons you're replacing. One and two you flip it and it's this one and that one uh, and to remove them there are these tiny tabs here that you have to remove it might be more evident here so check this out you see these little tabs these tabs click in place so what you have to do on the alt panel is you have to bend these tabs out and the buttons will simply fall out bend and push maybe hold it with your finger bend and push and check this out the button comes right out now to replace the button you simply let's do it right side up uh, you simply just grab it and push it in place there we go so it's pushed right in and in the back the only difference is uh, the back is white versus the OEM is black so now we did M1, let's focus on M2 now. Once again, flip it upside down and take this little tab, push it out and hold it with your thumb. Then take the next one, push it out and just push the whole assembly out. Very, very straightforward. The button comes right out 
and the new button comes right in. Simple. Look how similar these things are. I like it. And then how much did it compare to the stripe on the wheel? Fairly close, not too close, but fairly close. This is probably the biggest similarity. So now that we have this done, it's time to start putting everything back together. So once again, we've got to reassemble this piece and we'll put the switches back in and tighten it with this screw again in the back. Make sure it sits nice and even. You can straighten out the steering wheel. Now we grab the trim. We snap the trim back in place. And reinstall one, two, three screws. Everything is looking good. Next we grab the airbag and we clip the airbag back in here. There's no way you can screw it up. The pointy part goes up top. Make sure it clicks, doesn't pull out. Perfect. And then you simply push the airbag back in. Perfect. And we're done. It was nice and easy and the buttons are obviously operational. The battery is off so you're able to see uh, the difference. But again, they look kind of cool. And this blue also matches with that. So not bad. Uh, if you ask me, I wish actually <laughs> you could have these two buttons in blue. It would be a nice even distribution of colors. Uh, but whoever's watching, maybe one of these vendors, why don't you maybe make these buttons blue? How cool would that be? All right, so now let's reconnect the battery and uh, see if they work. And first thing you're gonna get is an error message that says, please set your time. So we're gonna set the time, go to my vehicle, I drive settings, date and time. There we go, perfect, automatic time settings. And then what I like to do is turn the wheel all the way left and all the way right to reset everything, perfect. Now let's double check to see that everything works. So we've got our settings in there. So on my M1, everything works. As you can see again, M1, M1, I have Sport Plus, Sport and Comfort, uh, and regular heads up display. For M2, again, if I double tap it, if I double tap M2, uh, it's also an MDM, but it's Sport Plus, Sport Plus, and Sport, and I get my uh, Sport heads up display. Uh, but overall, everything looks super, super cool. I'm actually very happy I did this. Uh, not bad. One of the things you notice about these buttons in, is uh, they are slightly smoother because they have clear coat on, over them versus these buttons that are plastic and do not have clear coat over them. Uh, like I said, someone watching these uh, videos, make sure you maybe uh, do a different color for these buttons. How cool would that be? Maybe how about a red button uh, for the phone or maybe green button for the phone and, uh, and this one maybe do something uh, different. Anyways, maybe I'm getting too crazy over here but overall look at this it's a nice place to be in now with these two buttons I can go uh, racing at the track that is and look at all the blueness perfect all right so I hope this was somewhat helpful if you like this video give me a thumbs up it really helps me uh, with my content to get it out there uh, subscribe if you haven't and as always thank you very much for watching starting parking recording and I will see you in the next video bye bye